Look at this audience, man. Looks like a Benetton ad. Man, this is good. This is a, a lot of different kinds of people here tonight. Good evening, folks. You all right? Yeah. Well, one Indian guy's all right, and the rest of you are okay, so that's good. Oh, that's crazy, that laugh. All right, good. Uh, <laughs> it's good to be back. I was at my parents' house about, um, about a month ago, and I was watching TV with my dad, right? We were sitting in the living room watching TV, and we were, they had, like, uh, the Gay Pride Parade was on that weekend. And we were, well, whatever makes you happy. And, um, and, they, uh, and they were showing, they had, like, a live feed. Not, like, a live feed, but, like, they were showing... They were, they were showing the parade, right? They, they were showing it on TV, right? So, oh, would you grow up? All right, so we're watching it, right? We're watching the parade, right? And then all of a sudden, these three gay Indian guys came on the screen, right? I don't mean came on the screen, but I mean, they, uh, they, uh, you know, they appeared, right? So, so I'm watching it, right? And these three gay Indian guys are like, hey, we are Indian and we're gay. We represent the gay South Asian community. And my dad looks at me and he goes, that is disgusting. <laughs> Do you know them? <laughs> I was like, why the hell would I know them? Because they are of the gay and you are in the entertainment business. Then my dad started to get really irritated with them, you know, because they just kept showing them on the screen. It didn't really bother me, you know, because it's just, you know, it's gay pride and they're just being proud and gay, right? So, so my dad started to get really irritated with them, going, this is wrong. We should not have gay Indians. Indian men should not be gay. I go, Dad, we got a population crisis over there. We could use a couple of homos in India right now, you know what I'm saying? I love it when people concern themselves with stuff that's never gonna affect their life. You know what I mean? Same-sex marriages, I got bigger things to worry about than a same-sex marriage. I gotta worry about an arranged marriage. You know, it's, it's... Be out of control when they got same-sex arranged marriages. That's when it's gonna be out of control, you know what I mean? Indian family realizes their son's gay when he's young, you know? We must find him a nice boy. Someone from a good family and a big closet. <laughs> Arranged marriage is a big problem in my community, man. You know what I mean? It's not so much a problem, it's a problem if you want it to be a problem. I mean, it's a problem for me, you know what I mean? <laughs> my parents tried that on me last year. They came up to me, they're like, my mom goes, Russell, you're getting older now. And you're not married. <laughs> what if I bring some nice girls home for you? I go, I bring nice girls home all the time. <laughs> I just leave in the morning. You know, that's, that's a nice girl right there. <laughs> She's like, no, no, I will pick some girls and you can choose the one you like. Look, are you out of your mind? <laughs> my mom wanted to pick my wife. I wouldn't let my mom pick my clothes. Imagine my mom walking in with this girl. I know she's a little big now. But you'll grow into her. <laughs> big deal in the Indian community if you're not married, man. I'm not married. I don't, I don't really, I'm not really big on this whole marriage thing, you know? I love women too much to get married, you know what I mean? Because if you love women and you get married, then you just love women. I don't know if I'm ready to do that yet, you know? I'm scared of getting that disease, too. You know that disease when you get married? One China? I don't... Uh, I don't want to get stuck with one China for the rest of my life, you know? I, 